Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. I'm back with another video and today I have two different eyeshadow palettes in my eyes. One is $129 and the other one's only $25 to $30. You guys guess which side it is. Let me know in the comments below. But today I'm going to be trying out the new Natasha Denona Tropic Palette. This is what it looks like right here. I really love the packaging and look at the shades, you guys. They're so pretty. So I decided to compare this palette to the Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes. This is not a dupes video, but this is mostly like a look for less if you want to achieve this beautiful blue tropic big eyes but for a lot less money so if you guys enjoy this kind of video i can definitely do more just please let me know in the comments below which palette you guys would like me to do look for less pretty much also if you guys are dying to know this eye right here it's the one that retails for 129 dollars and this one right here retails for 25 to 30 dollars i'll have everything i use on the description below but i'll say it again you guys this is not a dupes video it's mostly a look for less i'm not bashing on any company all that nice being that said there. please make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here and hit that notification bell but yeah you guys let's go ahead and try these eyeshadows out. all right you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and get started like i always do my eyebrows are done they just take too long for me to do them in camera so i'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes for both eyes i'm gonna be using the mac paint pot in soft ochre this is what the natasha denona palette looks like i believe this is called the tropic palette um, and this is what it looks like right here so pretty now that these palettes have that perfect matte shade so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my wet n wild brulee eyeshadow and set my base Once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Natasha Denona palette. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this shade right here in the shade Sahara, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that in my crease. A little bit definitely goes a long way with this shadow. Alright you guys, and then for the other eye, I'm going to go ahead and use my Dewey's Masquerade palette. And this palette doesn't have the exact shade as the Sahara palette, as you guys can see right there. So I'm going to go ahead and use another Dewey's Place eyeshadow palette. This is the Saharan palette, and I believe this shade right here looks similar, but not identical. So I'm going to go ahead and use Katsina, hopefully that's how you say it. Using the same brush I just made sure to clean it looking at the palettes side by side you guys I noticed that the shade what is it called fake tan looks a lot more similar to the one I use in this eye at least in the pan see how they both look pretty similar so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab fake tan from the Natasha Diona palette and apply it right here once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease. For that, I'm just going to be using my Make a Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is in the shade C7. So I'm going to go ahead and do Alright, that. Guys, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and grab the beautiful Natasha Denona palette one more time. And I'm going to go ahead and use this mint frost shadow right here. It's such a beautiful shade, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And I'm going to do that with a MAC. 242 brush for the other eye i'm gonna go ahead and grab my sahara number no. two palette and apply the shade in she shot okay i can't even say that but it looks like this and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys side by side they're not exactly the same the natasha denona definitely has more like duochrome to it and more metallic but we still can get the same look so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'm not gonna wet my brush only if I have to, but this already looks super pigmented as it is. The Natasha Tuna looks like with no fix plus or nothing and honestly, wow, so pigmented. So I'm going to go ahead and clean the brush and then apply the dubious place on this side. some swatches on my fingers so again this is like that minty greenish shade from the Juvia's Place palette and this one's from Natasha Denona you can definitely see a little bit of a difference but you can kind of get the same effect so this is the Juvia's Place and this is Natasha Denona so I'm gonna go ahead and move on 
with another shade. I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade in Exotic. So it looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade. And from Juvia's Place, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Masquerade palette, which I feel like is pretty close to this um, Natasha Nona palette. And I'm gonna be taking the shade in Molly, which looks like this. Let me go ahead and do some finger swatches. Um, so this is the Julie's Place and the Tasha Dino Nessa. That's what it looks like right there. I feel like in the Tasha Dino palette, it's been a little bit like plain hard to get. So I have to really dig my finger there to build the intensity. But once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and add one more shade just because I want to play with the beautiful blue of each palette and I'm gonna go ahead and add Tiger Lily I believe that's what it's called it's this beautiful like royal blue shadow and I'm gonna go ahead and grab again my Juvia's Place Masquerade palette and use let's see this shade right here in Shy or She who knows like I said you guys I have the tendency to pronounce things wrong so I'm sorry if I am these are pretty similar and again you guys the touch you know it's like you really have to dig your finger in there to grab the shadow. So this one right here is the Juice Plates and Natasha Denona. What What I came up with, I know it's looking a little bit messy, but we're gonna go ahead and fix it with some aligner and lashes. But, as you guys can see, the Natasha Denona palette, I don't have a lot of fall in the Juvia's Place, I do have more fall with the darker shades. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna put some liner on, some lashes, and do my whole face. And then we should be right back to finish up the lower lash line and give you guys my opinion on this new $130 palette. Still can't believe it. Alright, you guys, so my face is finally done. Honestly, you guys, I really love how my makeup looks like. In case you guys want to know what I'm wearing for the rest of my face, I'll have everything listed on the below bar for you guys. I'm going to try to do that on every video just so I can help anybody out or anybody wondering what I have All on right, my so face. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the shade Sahara again and mix it with fake tan. So I'm going to go ahead and make those two shades. I really do like the mirror, you guys, for this palette. It's really big and it's just perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and once again grab that beautiful shade right here from the Juvia's Place Sahara palette. This one's the first one. Finish up my lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this beautiful lemon shade right there. It's called Limoncello. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce things, you guys. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab that beautiful shade and apply right here in the inner corner. And my brush is in wet, and then I'm gonna grab my Juvia's Place Sahara Number no. Two palette once again, and I'm gonna grab that shade right there. And this was in the shade Asisa. I have no idea. This one's the Juvia's Place, and this one's the Natasha Denona. Definitely see that the Julius Place is more yellow and this one's less yellow. So, really alright, like you guys, so my makeup is finally done. And overall, what do I think of this $129 palette? I think the packaging is really pretty, it feels really nice. And I know you can also like take this eyeshadows out of the palette and make your own little palette. I like the mirror, I like how big it is, and I love the shadows and everything. It's just really inspiring to see some colorful shades. But I did have difficulty using the shimmer shades right here or metallics, whatever they are. As you guys can see, you guys can even see my fingerprints on some of them because they're so hard to get the pigmentation out. As you guys can see, I'm literally going like this and look how little pigmentation I'm getting. And for it to be $130, like this better be extreme pigment because you are spending your money on this. The mattes do work really pretty and they blend really nice. So hopefully one day I'm able to try her other palettes because I hear more positive reviews on those palettes than on this palette. So crossing my fingers, maybe one day I'll be able to afford that. But this is going back to the store, you guys. It's too expensive and again, the pigmentation on those metallics are just not there. But the matte shadows are really good, so yeah. For Juvia's Place, you guys, 
Honestly, this is one of my favorite eyeshadow brands ever. They're super pigmented, really affordable. I believe this palette is like $25 and you can use a discount code to get even more money off. Honestly, they're super pigmented. Like, look at this, you guys. One swipe and yeah. So that's what I expect from a Natasha Denona palette, but that's not what I got on that palette. I'm not saying the palette is horrible. I'm just saying that for $130, you can get way better things out there and cheaper, but I do know once again her other but palettes yeah, you guys, are way better pretty much all for this video thank you all so much for watching let me know in the comments below which palette are you guys going to be picking up are you guys going to splurge or are you guys going to save some money um so yeah so what do you guys think do they look alike do they don't let me know and also make sure you guys like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't yet i'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling and i'll see you guys in a couple of days bye guys